Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining. Wrong one. Yep. Wagwan. Popcorn. <laughs> what did they say? Wagwan. No. It was like, what up, what up? It's Miss Nick Nick. Thank you. you. Director. <laughs> um, mm hmm. Wagwa no. What? Sorry, just don't just let it go. Just let it go. What up, what up? It's Miss Sneaky Nick coming at you with a new video. I finally made it on YouTube and I'm going to be showing you guys today my routine. I'm going out tonight so I want to look extra cute. I'm going to be actually testing out um, this new foundation from Ordinary in the color 3.2N and also the 3.2R. I hope that they work out and I hope that you like it. Like subscribe love me and i'll see you guys after whatever but i'm gonna keep and let's get into the video all right guys so what i start off with is cleansing the face what i like to use is uh, my cleansing cloths they're not even wipes they're like cloths because they're so thick and i love them because they can take a lot of makeup off it's called lux beauty care and it has retinol in it and it helps to minimize wrinkles and restores the pH. All right, so the next thing that I like to use is a face primer. This one is clear and it minimizes all the pores on your face. It gives you really smooth and flawless finish. Like um, silicone feeling on your you don't even need to use that much I just like to use just a little little pea size or whatever okay so now that we have primed our face um, I like to powder my face before I put on my foundation I've tried it and it helps to keep down the oils off of um, like coming through your makeup and I can't stand the shiny I love a matte look a luxury powder in the banana hopefully you can see that too what I do is that I can just use a sponge and I've wet it already and then I just dip it in <laughs> So I have completely put the powder in all of the places that I get super oily in. And I know I look like a hot mess, but please bear with me. I promise you it'll come out a lot better. So now what we're going to use is foundation. And I just got um, the ordinary colors in. And the color that I chose was the 3.2 R which is a deep red undertone and that's what the product looks like there the other one I have the two of them one is a lightweight coverage and the other one is a high coverage and then I also got shade lighter because I wasn't sure of the colors um, which is Still a 3.2, but in a deep neutral, so it has no red undertones in it. Lightweight and lightweight, you can see the difference a bit in the color shade. So this one here has like the red undertone and this one is the neutral, but even still, the neutral is still a bit lighter. So today, um, I just wanna go with this red one just to see how that one um, sets on my face. And we're gonna go with the light coverage. Okay, so this one, we're gonna test it all out. Always says to shake well. And then I'm just going to put some, ooh. This is very, very liquidy. I'm going to use um, my buffing brush. This is what I use to put my makeup on and it has a flat top, but I don't know if you can see that. That is the red color and I'm actually gonna put the neutral right beside it so you guys can see the difference. And it is very watery, very lightweight, but you can see 
the difference in them. You know what, I'm actually, I think I'm going to mix the two. Yeah, I'm gonna mix the two. <laughs> smells good too it doesn't have like a high chemical smell or anything like that which is really good because I hate those things that smell like paint or is it is that just me no I, I think they smell like paint <laughs> Like, it's like matte already. Like, I don't feel like it's moving around, and I think that's like awesome. My first time using this, guys, I'm, I want you guys to let me know if you think this color matches me. I think it's, it's doing pretty good. Okay, so now that we've got the foundation on it, and I'm actually really liking it. Like, I can touch my face and I don't feel like it's transferring. It feels really, really good. Um, so the next thing that I like to do is my eyebrows. I like to use e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow, sorry, eyebrow um, in the dark. So you guys can see that. Now I never really use this one here. It's not even a cream, it's a powder. I'm not really sure what that's for, but I'm not gonna use it. That I got from e.l.f. I think the one from e.l.f. feels a little bit firmer. So I think I'm going to use that guy. Uh, my eyebrows are actually microbladed, so they're pretty much the shape that I want. I just like to define it more, and and I just have to clean up under here. So, all right, so we're gonna go in, and I'm just going to line the bottom first, and then I go up, and then I line the top. <laughs> So I'm just gonna finish my brows and be right back. All right. So we're back and I've done my eyebrows. So what I'm going to use to clean up my eyebrows is Naked Skin by Urban Decay in the color Deep Neutral. Again, creamy. It smells a little bit by paint, but it feels really good. Let's use my other e.l.f. brush that has the angle on it. I'm gonna do one just to show you guys what I do. Okay, so now um, I'm going to highlight all of the areas that I want highlighted and then I'm going to set it and then I can start working on my eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to blend it out with my blending brush and uh, my, my beauty blender. And remember to make sure that you guys wet it so um, it blends it out better. So now that I've highlighted, I'm just going to go back in with my Benai, and then we are going to bake. Bake it up, bake, bake, bake it up. Okay, and then we just leave 
leave that there and then I could start doing my eyebrows. I mean my eyes. My eyes. I did the eyebrows. Alright, so I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Nubian, the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's. I love this palette. Like I really do, I just really admire it. You can tell I have used some. But what I'm going to use is these two colors. Morocco, Jazabelle, and Nefertiti. And I'm really, really, really loving the way this Nefertiti looks, hopefully. We're gonna use my blending brush. And that's it right there. Oh my God, but we forgot to do, to set my eyes. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set my eyes right now with the same, I'm so sorry if I didn't even say it beforehand, but I'm using Toast by Pro Concealer. And then we're going to put that over my eyes and we're going to blend that out and then we're going to set it. <laughs> to use is just a plain old um, foundation brush and get that all in there and then what I do to set it is that I use a little bit of translucent powder. I just got this one at Shoppers. I don't even remember what the name of it is anymore because like the top is rubbed just off. a little bit, knock it off. And then you can just put that over top. And the translucent is supposed to blend in with the color that you put there. So it's not supposed to leave it white. <laughs> So now I've set my eyes and I just want to make mention while you guys are um, baking, just know like for women that have like really oily skin while you're baking, it is okay to go back in and to set because I don't know if you can see here, it's just showing a little bit of the pores. I can't really zoom in because you know, but it'll show some of the pores and it's just the oil seeping through. So what we want to do is that we just want to cover that up. That gives you some extra protection to make sure that you are not oily throughout the day. And we are going to do Morocco. I just love this. Like these colors are very pigmented. I just love them. And we're just going to go in. And we're just gonna start. That's our base, that's our transition color. recording <laughs> okay sorry <clears throat> go in with jazabel really really like this purple a smaller tapered buffing brush because that oh let me see if i can show you guys that All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with Nefertiti. Nefertiti is right here. She's a really pretty goldy color. And we're gonna put that on the lid. Girl, I don't know how this is gonna look. I just picked three random colors just to make it happen. Okay, so now that I've done both my eyes, I'm gonna go in with my On Point Liquid Liner Pen from Bodyography. 
I really rubbed off all of these names on here because I use them so frequently. But um, I can't really do this on camera because I really have to concentrate. So I'm just going to put it on and then I'm going to come right back to you. Okay, so I've already put on my eyeliner and I think it's about time for me to wipe this off now. I'm going to use my big buffing brush and I'm going to use my translucent powder. I had like a different one that had a bit. Oh, lies. I'm lying to you. I do have it. So I'm going to go in with um, my True Complexion Contour Palette in the medium to dark. And this is by Radiance, Black Radiance. I love this company. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to use the Sculpt right here. My e.l.f. Um, brush, and this one is nice and tapered. It's not too um, big, but it gets right underneath there. to do now is I'm gonna add some eyelashes and we're almost finished this look okay so I've got my pretty little eyelashes on and I use Kishna's professional 100% mink lashes and this one is in 2 a.m. I love her these ones are the full full lashes and I love them love them love them love them love them love them, love them. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to blend them in together and I'm using Revlon Ultra Volume Mascara. You can see that there. And the blackest of black. That's what we're using. And then I just want to blend these together. Ladies, I, I suck at putting lashes, so this is why I put them on off camera. So I don't want people looking at me like I'm crazy. You don't need any of that. Oh, I love me some big lashes. Okay, I know I'm crazy because I'm just feeling beautiful. So yeah, so now that we did that, I kind of want to put a little bit of color underneath my eyes just to make them pop a little bit more. I am going to take my dome smudge brush. This is also by Bodyography. And um, I think I'm going to put some of the purple just underneath my eyes. Jazabelle. So I'm just going to take some of her and put her just underneath here. Just to just smudge that out. Carry that color down. I think that looks so damn cute. Man, like I'm in love with this woman's palette and I think I am gonna go and get her other palette. Her colors, oh my gosh. Her colors just suit my darkness. I'm just loving it. Okay, so now we've just shaded out this purple. We're gonna add, a, with a smaller liner, Zuri. I'm just gonna show you Ziri is right here and this goddess, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect inner crease highlight. Just to add her in here, oh Lord. Yep, she's doing it. Okay, so after the inner crease that I applied, which I am loving, um, I'm going to use a highlight that I got from Stila in the color Kitten. Yo, this color gives me life. But this, <sighs> if I, oh my God, the way that it feels like butter on my skin yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah that's going on my face um so we're probably you know what i'm just gonna use my fingers the heck with it and then we're just going 
to just go in here on the skin. doing a lip now you can see here she is beautiful I'm loving her yeah that's what we're doing moisturize my lippy and I don't put too much on it we're gonna use the color rosewood lip pencil to give you all the finished look and um, get my hair all done up and I'll be back. Thanks so much everyone for joining me today. This is my first YouTube video ever. I did it. I completed it. It's done. So please like, subscribe, comment down below. Tell me things that you did like, you didn't like, what you want to see from me. I'm really, really excited to be on here. Um, yeah, so go on and do it, no? Go on. I'll see you on the next one. And cut. Oh. Here, drink.